Hey guys, so I'm gonna be taking this lime green eyeshadow from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm applying this from inner to outer corner doing sweeping motions and circular motions just to really blend this color out and pretty much use this as my first transition shade. Now dipping into this aqua blue eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this pretty much in the same places that I applied the light green eyeshadow. This one though, I'm really going to build it up um, to the intensity that I like. As you can see, this is a pretty deep and dark smoky eye, so all these colors are going to be um, applied on the inner and outer corner, doing the same exact motions just to blend everything out, and we're really going to pack on the colors to build up the level of intensity for this smoky eye today. If you don't want this to be as smoky, you don't need to build it up as much, but you know I like to go the extra mile. <laughs> so to diffuse the lines between that light green and that aqua blue, I'm taking this color and a Real Techniques brush and just diffusing those lines so there are no harsh lines and nothing looks patchy. We want to make sure everything looks blended since we are doing such a deep smoky eye. You want to make sure everything looks nice and seamless. So I felt like I brushed away a little bit of that aqua color, so I'm just dipping in, dipping into it again, there you go, <laughs> um, just to bring that color back to life. Now taking this dark green eyeshadow, um, I think I've mentioned in tutorials in the past that all the colors aren't as dark as they look in the pan, but they are buildable to that. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And the darker the colors, I'm going to keep closest to the um, crease bone. That way it doesn't look like I have a big black eye. <laughs> Now I'm taking this teal color and diffusing the lines between all of those different colors that we applied, again, to make sure everything looks nice and seamless and fully blended. Now to further deepen our crease, I'm taking this navy blue color and applying it just on that crease line and from inner to outer corner. This color, I don't want to blend up too high. Like I said, you want to make sure the darker the colors, the lower to the crease that you keep it. That way everything will just have a really pretty gradient ombre effect at the end. And then whatever's left on this brush, I'm just blending it out. Now going into this purple shade, I'm going to apply this on the outer corners and the inner corners at first and then start to doing start to do sweeping motions from inner to outer corner just to fully blend it out. As you can see, the purple is the star of the show, so I'm gonna really be building up this color and building up the intensity. And then I have no product left on the brush, or there might be a little bit, but I didn't dip into any extra product to blend out the harsh lines. I'm kind of just using whatever is left on there to morph all those colors together. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing here is using that same purple and that same navy blue shade and really deepen and darken that crease line. This is going to help make that purple pop as well since that purple is very uh, very light, very violet-y um, and that glitter is just really going to make it pop. So adding those darker colors definitely helps that. And I'm applying this purple eyeshadow that way um, none of the, you know, my actual eyelid peeks through the glitter that way I kind of cover my bases that way if I do miss you know part of my eyelid with glitter it's still purple so here I'm taking more of that green eyeshadow and just deepening it because we're starting to look really purple and blue and I really wanted that green to pop through so I'm just applying more of the green eyeshadow and then applying another layer of that purple A lot of these steps are repetitive just because I am building up the colors with all of the same colors. I'm not going in with a million different shades to create the look. I'm just um, really building up the intensity with each shade. And you want to make sure that you take your time when doing this. That way everything can just look very nice and seamless. And here I'm taking navy blue and that purple shade mixed together and doing slow sweeping motions, kind of making a, like a C shape on my eye, if you think about it. That way it can really round that eye and make that glitter when it comes to that part. Make it pop, you know what I'm saying? And here I'm just blending out for any harsh lines. You guys already know the deal. 
And then I'm gonna be taking a white eyeshadow just to add some lift to our brow. And I'm just applying it right underneath the brow bone and blending it out so there's no harsh lines. You guys already know the deal. Now I'm taking my Sephora Glitter Guard and I'm applying this in sections, first keeping it closest to the lash line and patting it till it gets tacky and then applying the glitter right on top. And I'm going to do this all the way until I reach that crease bone without actually going on the crease. Um, but the glitter that I'm using today is by NYX Cosmetics and it's in the color Violet. And as you can see, I'm also rounding out the eyeshadow as well with the glitter to go with that C shape and then taking more of that purple eyeshadow and applying one more layer of purple around the glitter that way to uh, make that glitter really pop and it does have reflex of like a bluish like greenish hue so it works perfectly with the look i wasn't planning that but this glitter is so pretty and it's not gritty or anything and it lasts pretty much all day and i had some fallout so i'm just cleaning it up with the makeup wipe and then also at the same time cleaning up the edges of my eyeshadow just to make that look very straight and prominent. Um, you could use a concealer, but the makeup wipe is just so much more easier and convenient. And now I'm doing a simple black straight line across my lash line using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and then I'm applying my lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies and Kiss Lashes in the style Flirty. Now while I wait for the eyelash glue to set and dry, I'm gonna prep my lower lashes for the eyeshadows and I'm using the Essence Eye Love Stage um, Eye Primer and then setting it with a translucent powder. And then taking a thin liner brush and some black eyeshadow, I'm applying this right on top of the lashes just so we can hide the band so you can't see that we're applying falsies. You gotta fake it till you make it, you know? So for the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking all of the eyeshadows that we used on top on the bottom. Well, all except for the green ones. The green eyeshadows I did not apply on the lower lash line. I just went in straight with the aqua blue and then all the deep purples and blues that we used to really smoke it out and make it match the, um, the lid colors. And then to coat my lower lashes with mascara, I'm using by The Balm Cosmetics, their Mad Lash Mascara. So you could totally rock like a nude look with this look and be ready to go to whatever event or special occasion you have where you would want to wear this look. But for me today, I wanted to use this Sephora Collection Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color like Forest something. I don't know the exact name, but I will leave it down below for you. It is number 29, um, but I love this color and it was giving me some serious like dark mermaid vibes. Um, I absolutely loved it and I wore it for the rest of the day. However, you could use a really pretty nude would look nice with this look. So whatever floats your boat. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video and you guys like this look, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And of course, I'll check you guys out in my next one. Bye guys.